Okay, so I'm just going to record this way today because um, it's kind of convenient. I am just beginning chapter 10 here in a book called Spirit of the Western Way. Wake up to your power, heal the collective consciousness of the Western mind through Tina Louise Spalding. So this is another channeled work. Um, and this part is really important. And what I find the most interesting is, I'm not sure when this one, when this, oh, 2016. This is really interesting. Okay. So it was copywritten in 2016 and it's it does speak uh, to the political system a little bit which is really interesting so here I'm gonna read a little bit change your world by changing your mind so this is all about how do we get healthy um, in our world and how do we get healthy um, how do we create a better world for all of us how do we get there and it says as your eyes focus on your television screens, you think you see the world's political structure, but be warned, it is not as it appears to be. The democracy you believe you live in is no longer that. Indeed, it is what you might consider a police state. Most of you who behave yourselves by paying your taxes, going to work and living ordinary lives in a way that you have been told is correct, have no idea what is really going on behind the scenes in your political arenas. We do not wish to be negative here, but we must be honest. You no longer live in a democracy and you no longer have the rights you were told you have. Your politicians can come in at any time, particularly in the United States, and do anything they wish with you, and there is nothing you can do to stop it. So when you have the opportunity to look at your voting system and your political structure, understand that you are really powerless within this structure to make any change whatsoever. There was a time when politicians paid attention to you and were in touch with the constituents they answered to. There are politicians who believe that is still the case, and they are deeply involved in their jobs. They believe that the system still works, but it does not. And you must understand this. You must change your world from the inside out. This is very difficult for the earthbound and materially focused human mind to believe. <clears throat> but it is the truth. The world you think you live in is not what you believe it is. The world that you live in is a manifestation of a mind, a powerful mind, if you will, the ego mind. It is a mind that believes in separation and war. And that is why the world looks the way it does. As you feed the ego in your Western society with ideas of violence and of a special, highly idealized relationship that will save you from the world and yourselves, bad foods such as a mind-numbing television, you are indeed feeding a mind that wishes to make war. War is the ultimate manifestation of separation, and that is now the focus of your politics. The power structures behind the facade that is presented to you concentrate on war and control. They will usurp your rights if you cross a line and misbehave in any way they deem as dangerous to their agenda. Understand this truth, but do not go into fear. That is what they want you to do. For fear disempowers you, and that is why they propagate terrifying stories on the news. Many of the beings in power are behind the news industry that disseminates what appears to those who do not know any better to be truthful information. These beings want to perpetuate your fear. In your fear, you will vote for war. It is that simple. 
When you are in fear, you feed the ego mind and vote for separation and war. That is the vibration of the mind immersed in the information that comes from the political and military industrial complex. We are not trying to make your life bad by teaching you the truth. We are trying to get you to focus on shifting your consciousness. You see on the news programs battles and wars taking place on the other side of the planet, but in your materialistic world, you are not taught that they have anything to do with mind. The outside world you see reflects the inside condition of the collective mind. Your world reflects your minds, your marriages, your relationships, your work, and your creativity reflect the state of your minds. You are all in a collective dream, and the collective dream is manufacturing violence, pollution, and war. You are immersed in the material mind, the ego mind, and it is only in changing your collective mind that you will begin to shift the collective experience you have in that what you believe to be material world. This material world reflects your energy, focus, and beliefs. Every decision you make in your world, from the food you buy to the political parties you support, comes from a mind that is based in the material. If that is not the case, and you are not focused on the material, you will support companies and activities and beliefs that are out of accord with the ego's desire for war and separation. Love the unlovable projections of your mind. When it comes to your politicians, realize that this is not a subject separate from your spiritual practice. The politicians in front of you now represent the state of mind and the state of energy that the collective mind has created and projected. These are words we use to refer to manufacturing or bringing into existence certain things. We will define them here a little bit for you. We use the word projection, and this means a person is completely unaware that he or she is making an experience. You are innately creative beings, and everything you think about becomes a reality. Everything you focus on with passion becomes a reality. But if you are unaware of that, the experience results in projection. When you encounter objects and events, either global or local, you believe they are outside you. However, you made them happen through your focus, through your fears, and through your thoughts. You are not aware of it, so they seem to be separate. They truly seem to be something that is not of you. This is how we describe projection. Let's say you have an argument with a family member. In your projecting mind, you think that person is wrong, evil, or bad and deserves your judgment. This is the projecting mind's experience. When you understand that you are the creator of your reality in all of its aspects, you remove some of the unpleasant things from your mind so that you can live in peace. You put those unpleasant things in the outside world. You project them out there and you think they are gone and you can live in a semblance of feeling somewhat peaceful even though there is underlying guilt and fear lurking in the mind. You see these objects, these events, and these people as outside of you, and they appear to be bad. However, these are aspects of you that you decided you could not live with, so you place them outside yourself. You are unaware of that, and this is projection. You are completely unaware of what you have done. You are creative beings who are divine, non-physical, and energetic in nature. And you know that this world 
is a creation of the ego mind. Such beings can indeed extend this creativity from a conscious place. We call this extension. You can love beings who are unlovable because you understand that they are a projection of your mind. The only way to come to a place of true peace and connection to your divine nature is to embrace everything you see, knowing it is a part of your mistaken identity, if you will. The being who is angry with you simply requires love that will heal the wound. A country that your country appears to be at war with is a fragmented aspect of your collective consciousness. And to stop the war, love is required. This is not what your politicians tell you. You are told to arm yourselves, to defend yourselves. You are taught to attack to get what you want and to get security. That is not how you get security. You must look back on your history to clearly understand that all the wars, all these projections onto the apparently objective world are the attacking of bodies and foes. All the attacking of bodies and foes do not do anything. Attacking bodies ruins families, destroys young people's health, and kills young beings who believe they are doing the right thing. They are not doing the right thing. They are merely joining in a collective dream that is a nightmare. We want you to exit the nightmare and have a pleasant dream of peace and joy and love. And in our prescriptions and explanations here, you will find the solutions to all your problems. Take back your power. Your problems are gifts in disguise. Your problems are the solution to your separation from that which you call divine mind. We do not use the word God very often. It upsets people or triggers thoughts that are untrue. Your connection to divine mind will empower you. It will bring love and joy and health and peace to your planet. What you are and have been doing will not. It is very important for you to understand the power you have. You have the power to shift your political structures by changing your mind. It is within the structures of your mind to practice forgiveness, be non-judgmental, be kind to yourself, and understand the truth of who you are and what is going on. In this way, you can shift your thoughts about your entire experience. Not only the political and military experiences that you witness, but also all of the experiences you have with yourself, your family, and everyone else. Forgiveness must be brought to the forefront of your mind, and peace, peace must rise there before it can rise on the planet. So the political structures that you have made through your overindulgence of the ego are not there to assist you in the way you think anymore because the collective mind has become ego-driven and separated from spirit. Your political structures are also ego-driven and separated from spirit. And only through your shift in consciousness will you have any real effect on your world. It is very hard for you to imagine how changing your mind will do anything. You think you are one little being, one little speck that cannot make a difference. But trust us, there will be a grassroots revolution. As you all begin to change your minds and shift your focus from war to love, from fear to love, from separation to communion, 
there will be a massive shift in energy and focus in your country. And you will have a massive shift in political focus and emphasis. This is not a mistake. You create the wars you see. You perpetuate the societal powerlessness that has allowed power to amass in the structures you now see at place in the world. Massive corporations, the military industrial complex, and the pharmaceutical industry are all manifestations of your lack of connection to your personal power. The power seems to amass outside you because that is what you have believed and have been taught. By taking back your connection to source, your connection to divine mind, you will reconnect with your power and you will allow it to integrate within your mind. Through that process, you will indeed shift the outside manifestations. Lo and behold, if you all focus on love and forgiveness and you practice the lessons we teach, you will have a miraculous shift in your outside world. You will see it first in your family. Fractious relationships and bitter contentions will disappear. You will see it in your physical body because this is also a manifestation of your separated and confused mind. You will become physically healthier and stronger as you continue these practices together as a country, as you bring these practices together as a unified demonstration of your dissatisfaction with the status quo, you will manifest a different experience in the physical world. Your politicians will become saner and more reputable. They will be motivated to act in accordance with good and love and health. They will pass legislation that promotes organic foods and that reduces the military industrial complex's power. They will pass legislation to restrict pollution creating industries. They will shift their emphasis onto sustaining healthy communities, supporting people who need help finding good employment, and caring for the physical health and well being of children. These are the changes that will come in your political structures if you begin to change your mind. I'm going to leave it there for now. Another wonderful, wonderful work. If any of you decide that you should want to look for this book, it is not a long book. Um, again, anything, I have not read anything by um, penned by Tina Louise Spalding that wasn't good. Um, this one is only, you know, 150 pages. If even that, it's not even 150 pages. <clears throat> um, I highly recommend her work. I am so eternally grateful for these channelers who can bring these messages in to our remembrance because the truth is always there. The truth is always with us. The truth is always there. We just need someone every once in a while to help us remember what it is. And, and uh, we are going, we are creating together a truly magnificent world. Every moment, every day, those of us who focus on love Focus on unity, focus on the beauty in our diversity, the blessing that that is, 
in our world, the more of us that focus on these beneficial <laughs> elements, we actually lift the consciousness of this whole planet. When we can extend love in times when it may be challenging to do so, we are actually assisting every being, not just human, but otherwise on this planet and the planet herself. This is not hocus pocus. All things are energy. And our energetic imprint affects the energetic imprint of everything around us. Those of you who are doing this work with me, consciously, I thank you. Those of you who are just coming to the realization that these things are so, I thank you. And to those of you who aren't there yet, you are loved just as much as everyone else who's already here. We are all in this together. Whether we know it, realize it, understand it, it is the truth. I can't get where I want to go without all of you getting there too. That is the truth. We are a collective, having a collective experience. And so I leave you this. In peace and love, may you be blessed. Because if you are blessed, I am blessed. And that is the truth.